Hi, I'm Steve Everett, Applications Engineer for Tektronix at Keithley, and today I'm going to be talking about how to use your Source Measure Unit, or SMU, as a voltmeter or an ammeter. We'll be going over the settings and also demonstrating on a resistor connected to a power supply right here. Okay, so if you're using a 2400 graphical SMU with the touchscreen or a 2600B, then setting this up is actually fairly simple. Um, on the graphical SMUs, uh, the graphical 2400 series, you would just press menu, then go to quick set, and there are options for voltmeter, ammeter, and even ohmmeter and uh, power supply modes right there that should set up uh, just fine for you. Uh, you might need to do some tweaking on power limits or ranges, but it'll, it'll do the rest of the setup for you just fine. And on the 2600Bs, there will be a mode button on the front panel that you can choose and then select, you know, voltmeter, ammeter, power meter, things like that. Uh, but I'm going to go over the manual setup for a voltmeter right now. Uh, I have a resistor, which is connected to a power supply, which will be sourcing 5 volts, and I have the SMU hooked up in parallel to that resistor. Now, I'm going to go to the function key, and we want to source current and measure voltage. So I'm going to go to source current, measure voltage right there. Now we want to be sourcing current on the lowest range that we have. Uh, in this case that would be the one microamp range. And we want to set our voltage limit to high enough to include the voltage that we are trying to measure. So in this case I'm trying to measure 5 volts so I'll just set a 6 volt limit. Now I'm going to turn on the power supply here so that we can get the voltage uh, to show up. And turn the output on. Now, turning this output on and sourcing zero current through it is effectively acting the same way as a voltmeter would act if you were just using a standard DMM. Uh, the zero current is making, making sure that no current is flowing into the meter, which is es essentially uh, simulating a high input impedance. Uh, so we're able to measure the voltage on the resistor with the SMU. Uh, now, we're going to do a little bit of setup change and show you how to measure current manually. All right, so now we're going to be measuring current with the SMU. Uh, so I've done a little bit of a setup change here behind the scenes. I've changed it so that now our SMU is in series with the resistor. Uh, and so now we're going to go to function again. And this time we're going to be sourcing voltage and measuring current. And here it's the same exact concept as with the voltmeter. We want to be on the lowest range, in this case the 200 millivolt range, sourcing zero volts. And then we want to make sure that our limit will capture the current that we're trying to measure. And here, since we're doing 5 volts on a 15 ohm resistor, that'll be a third of an ohm, so I'll just, or a third of an amp, excuse me. So I'll just set it to 0.5 amps as the current limit. Now, if we turn the output on here, and we turn the output on on the power supply, we'll see that we get a third of an amp, uh, precisely what we expect. Alright, that was how to set your source measure unit to voltmeter or ammeter mode, or how to set it manually if you don't have those modes available. Uh, if you have further questions, feel free to contact us at Tektronix Technical Support. We'd be happy to help.